Now, a common thread in each one of these criminal cases and to the activity that we are targeting in the fashion district as a whole through the search warrants, arrests, and seizures today is that the businesses use something called the black market peso exchange system to launder money generated from illegal activity to drug cartels in Mexico and elsewhere. Now, we have targeted money laundering activities in the fashion district based on a wealth of information that numerous businesses there are exchanged in this, are involved in this black market peso exchange system and are using the trade that they conduct with their foreign customers to launder money for dangerous foreign-based drug cartels. And Los Angeles has become the epicenter of narco dollar money laundering with couriers regularly bringing duffel bags and suitcases full of cash to many of these businesses. As a part of the ongoing enforcement actions, HSI special agents served seizure warrants on more than 30 bank accounts containing approximately $19 million in deposits that were allegedly derived from trade-based money laundering. Additionally, during our searches this morning at the targeted businesses and residences, HSI special agents found and seized what we conservatively conservatively estimate will be another $49 million. And although it seems and appears to be complex, what was involved, at the heart of it, it's very simple. Follow the money. What we know is happening in California and by extension throughout the country is that very organized transnational criminal organizations are coming into California, selling their wares which are illegal, and making a whole lot of money engaged in the trafficking of, in this case, drugs, but often also guns and human beings.